Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. God bless you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It is no coincidence. Believe me, if God is leading you here, it's because he has something he wants to pass across to you through this channel. And I always pray that you don't miss it out by not subscribing because um, people do watch um, you know prophetic videos like this and they just you know pass on to the next and they forget that God maybe this particular word is not for you but if God is leading you here is because there is a specific word you are going to need and that he would pass it through this seven so I always pray that you do not miss out on that word by not subscribing. What happens when you subscribe is that you receive notifications, especially when you turn on your notification bell, so that each time there is a release of a new word, you are going to receive that notification. And it might just be a word that God has been wanting to tell you, or it might just be a great confirmation you have been looking forward to. Hallelujah. God bless you as you join this family. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God says, don't be angry. Don't be angry. This person still loves you. Don't be angry. They didn't really mean to hurt you. Don't be angry. Maybe you are watching me right now and you were hurt by someone real bad and it got you to a place where you got so angry you were hurt maybe by someone or even by God. You felt like God should have done this for you, but he didn't. You felt like at this point in your time, this is what God would have done, but that is not what happened and you feel so hurt in your heart. God began to talk to me. He says, it is not about the people. God sends people in your life for three things, for a season, for a reason, and for a particular purpose. God will send people in your life for a season, for a reason, and for a lesson. There are many reasons why we come and encounter with people. You know, you might just get to meet someone and you feel like they are your soulmate or they are your best friend. <clears throat> You love them so much, you pour out yourself to them. You know you are going to go a long way with them just for your relationship to hit a rock and it becomes disastrous. And you start feeling hurt. Maybe they leave you at a point where you needed them the most. Maybe something just happened and they walked out of your life and you get so angry and you are asking God, why would you let this happen? Why would this person hurt me like this? Why, 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 why? Not everyone that comes into your life was meant to be there forever. Not everyone that comes in contact with you was meant to do life with you. God is going to send people in your life in specific seasons. Specific seasons when you need specific help or when you need specific things. God will send them for a particular reason. Maybe to teach you a particular lesson, to teach you something you did not know. God will send them for something peculiar. And once they are done with the agenda of God, for your life they are going to exit and sometimes the exit is not very nice it's not something that you would have loved it's not something that you know you had envisaged it is not always something that you had that maybe you know when you love someone and you hope to have a good life with them it can make you bitter and sometimes you are so mad at god like why would you permit this to happen why would you let me love this person so much just for them to walk out of my life? Maybe when I need them the most. God did that for a specific reason. And if you would only kill anger, if you would only come down to reason, you are going to understand why God permitted them to leave. And anger is not even good for you. It will destroy you. It will make you bitter and close, close for the doors. When you are so angry that someone left you, it makes it maybe difficult for you to let in someone again. And so you stop the blessings of God. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 37, 
verse 8 and 9 to 9, it says, Cease from anger and abandon wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For those who do evil will, will be cut off. But those who wait for the Lord will inherit the land. Anger will make you do things you never thought you could do. It's going to make you live in a dark place. You know, many people got changed and they, they became evil or they started doing evil to people because of the previous hurt they had received from others. Do not let someone that got into your life dictate your life so much by, you know, giving them power, by, you know, being angry. The Bible says, no, cease from anger and abandon wrath. Do not fret. It only leads to evil. We know you're so bitter about someone. You start manufacturing things in your heart, the things that you would never do again. It's okay. Let them go. If God permitted that to happen, it's because he has a great plan. And I have come to realize that the plan of God is always good. In due time, you are going to thank God that it did not work out with those people. In due time, you're going to thank God that they walked out of your life. I have seen this several times in my life. I have seen this, I mean, times where I cannot count them, where the people that who left my life and I felt so bad, I felt like, God, why did God do this to me? I have seen it becoming a great deliverance in the nearest future and i say god thank you that you let this person out of my life thank you that you removed them i don't know how i would have handled them if they were still here right now god is good in every circumstance and in every situation don't be angry some people it's not like they meant to hurt you but god orchestrated that situation so there would be a separation they still love you they really still do love you. But for the time being, God is causing that separation so he can take you to your next level. It happened, the same thing happened to Abraham and Lot. The same thing happened to them. God created a kind of chaos. They had grown to a particular point where their servants started fighting each other. And they got to that place of discomfort. And Abraham got to himself and he said, okay, we can live together. Let there be a separation. And immediately they separated, God told him, you know, so they separated. There was a kind of trouble when they separated, but Abraham still loved Lot. That is why he was able to intercede for Lot when God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But that separation was necessary so that Abraham can get into his next level. Immediately they separated. You hear the, 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 the Bible says the voice of the Lord came to Abraham and told him lift up your head as far as you can see possess imagine that lord is mad at abraham for separating with him for living his life abraham still loved him that is why he could bring himself to a point of intercession don't be angry don't be bitter because they left it is only for a good cause hallelujah did you receive this message with gladness I pray that the Lord will bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. And I also pray for you that God will bless you with good people in your life at every season, at every given point of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.